whistles have been a traditional part of American small town life for decades. Today, Snoqualmie is one of the few towns that you can still hear those whistles. We have the noon whistle that lets the local residents know it's lunchtime. And we also have the whistles of the trains from the Northwest Railway Museum. And it really gives you a nice small town feel. People come here because they can experience small town life without driving too far. We live in this small town that still feels almost like a Norman Rockwell painting. But we can hop on the freeway and we can be in downtown Seattle in a half an hour, 45 minutes. So we got the best of both worlds. Snoqualmie is a stunningly beautiful place. There's scenic beauty all around. There's all kinds of outdoor activities. And then of course you can visit the falls. Snoqualmie Falls is a magnificent waterfall. It's taller than Niagara Falls, and it's a sacred place to the Snoqualmie tribe who've lived here since time immemorial. And they just opened a visitor's information center there where you can learn more about their history and the sacred site of Snoqualmie Falls. When you turn off Highway 18 onto Railroad Avenue, you'll see a really neat site, an amazing assortment of historic railway equipment that really give you an insight of what you'll get to see at the Northwest Railway Museum. Snoqualmie was founded as a railroad town in the 1890s, and we have the longest continuously operating rail depot in the state. The Northwest Railway Museum was established in 1957 by a group of railroad enthusiasts. And now we operate a train across five and a half miles of track from North Bend to the crest of Snoqualmie Falls. Snoqualmie Falls now coming up next is the south side of the falls. We also have our train shed exhibit hall. We hold different programs throughout the year, including when Thomas the Tank Engine comes to town. Hello, we have a good core of volunteers, but we're always looking for more people to help with conservation restoration projects or to help operate the train on the weekends. That can be exciting for volunteers to get that hands-on experience, and it's just a great way to meet new people. Hardware stores like Carmichael's used to be in every small town community. You can go there and meet your neighbors and hear the latest gossip of what's going on in yes. town. Carmichael's is probably the oldest business in Snoqualmie now. The building was built in 1909 as a general store. It became a hardware store in about 1985. And it's an old fashioned place. It has that museum component. People bring their relatives here when they want to show them the old hardware store. You know, the day after Christmas, they bring their kids, they bring their dogs, and they feel there's a connectedness here. When we first moved here, this town had been in decline because the forest products industries were winding down. And so to revitalize this downtown, the city of Snoqualmie has made tremendous investments in this downtown core. So we're really happy to look down the street and see the things that we envision. Everybody loves their small town, but there's only one Snoqualmie and it's a great place to be.